Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today with what, with many preachers, one of their favorite authors, if not their very favorite author of all time, T. DeWitt Talmadge. T. DeWitt Talmadge. And this particular book, Abominations of Modern Society, think about this. This was written about 120 years ago. You know, T. DeWitt Talmadge was instrumental in giving us the red letter Bible. He helped Louis Klopsch and just a to do it, just a voluminous writer. He was so elegant, so insightful, so in, incredibly thought-provoking in the imageries he would make. It, it, just fantastic. And so this is one of his books, been redone, The Abominations of Modern Society. Let's look at some of the contents in here. Uh, the Curtain Lifted, Winter Nights, The Power of Clothes, After Midnight. This is a very powerful separation from the world soliloquy here the massacre by needle and sewing machine ah, pictures in the stock gallery leprous newspapers the fatal tin strike some of the club houses flask bottle and demijohn houses of blackness and darkness so really abominations think about the title this is kind of chestertonian in its understanding of modern society and how it, mankind is constantly trying to debase a Christian morality, a Christian ethic. So this, he was very sage in finding and looking at that back even 120 years ago. And I think you and I see that pace accelerating precipitously in the day and age that we're living in. The indiscriminate dance it's the anniversary of Herod's birthday. The palace is lighted. The highways leading there to are blaze. So he's talking about how dance can be used for wickedness. And now we have cheerleaders, all kind of stuff that provoke the basis of human nature. What goes on after midnight? Fashion is the world's undertaker and drives thousands of hearses to Laurel Hill and Greenwood. Think about that. Fashion is the world's undertaker. Uh, talks about the wickedness and the excesses of fashion, the power of clothing. So, great book, and I think you holiness, good, godly preachers out there would find a kindred spirit in T. DeWitt Talmadge and see that as a biblically-based understanding and worldview, Welton Shong, that you would be able to say, yep, we saw that. It lines up with Scripture. God bless you today.